this time we're heading for Chew Valley Lake near Bristol. It's not too much of a detour. There were a few birders already there and they were scanning over the drying out margins towards what was left of the lake in the distance. The drought had played havoc, but the mud and the new grown grass did have a fair number of birds on it. But to see the ducks out on what was left of the lake was a real eyeball strainer. It was like duck soup with cormorant croutons. Yeah. But there was no sign of the bird that had brought us here in the first place, a pectoral sandpiper. It had flown off earlier, chased by a peregrine falcon. It started like we began, dipping out on an American lady, but it's the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah. Still, I don't mind missing a pectoral sandpiper. Not after that strike. Oh well, we hit the road. Yeah, I think that's the head north. Right. We wouldn't get home till 10 or so, and that meant we'll have had 53 hours and the best part of 800 miles on the road, all told. But the Gargany, Spoonbill, Grey Phalarope, Little Egret, and the Starbird, the Isabeline Shrike, plus loads of others, made it a great weekend. Well, for me at least, for them it's a regular thing. Time now for them to dream about the wondrous rarities they might get on next weekend's annual hyper twitch to the silly isles while i dream about hot food a warm bed and whether stamp collecting might not be a better bet well until next weekend anyway <laughs>